Alright fellas, welcome back. We are now uh, on the trail of the missing Ambrosia. There's something very scummy going on back at Unatco. But getting the Ambrosia back does seem to be an important thing though, so... I'm looking for the mole people. You don't want to camp with them. Trust me, they're too political. I don't need a place to camp. I started the mole people. I was there first. And then they made up committees that throw people out just because they don't like the way you look. How do I find them? Don't bother. They're elitist. And now the NSF is down there too. One of the interesting things about this game is that they actually have quite, in some ways, quite a lot of insight into the, the you know, the politics of homeless people. Uh, it's one of the sad things of even being homeless, you can't escape politics. What you need, bro? Vase of 250. Oh. No where I can find the mole people. people. Good neighbors keep each other's business private. You want to set a price? I'm a good neighbor. You want to buy something or not? <laughs> you don't want to say that because this guy is seriously not intending to go back to jail. Maybe later. Maybe later. So, um, uh, mainly just because I need to check I've got room for it in my inventory. Oh, we got a weapon modification for accuracy. Shove that on the tranquilizer. And we can upgrade one of their augmentations, but we're going to save that. Rock's the name, guy. Anything you want. Mm. I'll take, I'll a, take a vial of time. Mess you up. Now, you may be wondering why we as federal agents are buying drugs. Well, there's a good reason for that. It's to avert a rather nasty catastrophe. I don't handle the money. Talk to Charlie. Thanks to Charlie boys at Pimp as well. Nurse knew I was sick. She just don't care. Oh. I've got the plague. <coughs> Actually, if it's a tenderloin clinic, she probably Oh don't. my god. Hello. You have a problem? Get out! I got a bomb! A bomb's a bad choice for close-range combat. <laughs> Might as well use it. Rock says I owe him. He won't even give me one vial for it. What kind of bomb? I think they said it was called a lamb. Yeah, well... Suppose I could part with a vial of Zyme if you'll give me the lamb. You got some? Really? Yeah. Let's see the lamb. Take it, man. Whatever. Where's the Zyme? Hope it lasts. Okay, uh, I'm just going to mute this for a second so I can exorcism of coughing. Ah. <sighs> All right, and we're back. Better, much better. Yeah, we seriously have every interest in not letting junkies have large amounts of high explosives. Oh, hello, who's this? Shotgun <laughs> shells. What? Hola, bro. What is it? You on Rook's territory now. Just so you know. You call yourselves Rook's? That's right. Up here, it's business. You want to do business? Talk to El Rey. I'll keep that in mind. Back off. You are business talk to El Rey. Okay. Hey, bro, what's with the get up? I'm from out of town. I hear the NSF are operating around here somewhere. Know anything about it? I guess I've seen them, but that's it. You a militia type? I can hook you up with some explosives. Serious stuff, man. How much? Whoa, 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 whoa. We ain't talking firecrackers, understand? What I got, it comes from a guy at Unatco. Hardcore munitions and shit. 
How much? I got a lamp. You know what that is? Seven fifty. Pretty steep for secondhand goods. No kidding. Either that or you work for it. You in the fighting? I need someone to take care of the dealer downstairs. Uh, I have no intention of I'll getting involved it. in these guys. You want more. it for free? You know what to do. Another option is you can just basically whack him over the head and take it off him, but you'll have to fight all his mates as well. Yeah. It's things down there anyway. No, he's the homeless guy. I need to talk to Charlie. He's around here somewhere. And we already got a lamb from the other guy. I hear the NSF are using the mole people hideout as a base. Are you the feds? We don't need a war down here. I work for you, Natco. Well, the NSF come through here, but they don't bother us. If we need help with anything, it's our plumbing. We lost pressure because of the explosions on South Street. Tough break. You tell me about the NSF, and I'll put in a word with the city about the water. The city don't know we got water, and they don't need to know. How about you fix it, and then I'll talk. I don't have much time. I would open the valve myself, but there was a cave-in. Utility door's blocked. It's up at the north end of the tracks, in case you want to take a look. Clearing a tunnel. That would require explosives. It could be done. A lamb would do the trick. It's just that I'm not gonna be the one to talk to the rooks. They'd probably sell us one, but they don't like people going into their turf. Which is the whole upper level. Oh, joy. FedEx man, FedEx man, running back and forth like FedEx can. Oh, we'll just have a chat to this guy about the rooks. Come on, bro, no cops down here. What do you know about a gang <laughs> called the rooks? Gang? Who calls them a gang? Just what I heard. Bunch of pussy cats. I come within 50 yards. They scatter. Seems that other people aren't so lucky. I always talking big, trying to be players. The junkies found a box of lambs the other day. Now L. Ray puts on the show of being an arms dealer. The junkies. Yep. Oh sure. Only a matter of time until someone's stash disappears and people start blowing up. <laughs> yeah, it sounds about right. <laughs> and I pretty much agree with his assessment of El Ray as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but in many ways I quite like rock. That's why I look like this. Yeah. Oh, hello, there's a keypad under the women's toilets. See, it pays to go into the toilets. Always. Uh, now we just gotta find the north end of the track, which is up here. Uh huh, over there. And we can use a lamb to fix this. Let's see how many we got. Five of them. How many rockets have we got? Fourteen. I don't know if the rocket works on this, but it would be worth a try. I've never tried it before, so... Nothing's worth a try. Yep. Rockets do the trick. Now, that's the... If there's one flaw with this game, it's that steam is inconsistent. For example, this steam here will burn you, but the steam elsewhere doesn't. So the way around that... Um, jump. No, don't be like that. Oh, this is frustrating. Okay, watch this. Yeah. <laughs> In the end, it's easier just to jump. And we get a hundred skill points for that. Oh yeah, I'll decide I'm going to start using the light all the time whenever it's dark, because we should have enough energy cells to spare. Charlie? I'm a classic example of the individualist. No. I do better on that. Mm. 
there, is he? No, that's rock. Is he down here? Um, get up. Thank you. Uh, where's he gone? No, rock. He's over there. You can actually have quite a lot of fun with El Ray too. If you take out his intop then ask him for the lamb, he's eager to give it to you as well. But if you've got no inventory, it's the only time in the game that JC Denton actually laughs. Which is quite a lot the of fun. The water line should be open now. Good. Glad to see you UNETCO boys do something for the community. Now can you tell me about the NSF? The NSF? Yeah. They took over our tunnels. How do I get there? Go to the women's restroom on the other side of the station. Look for a keypad under the sink. Combinations 5482. Great. I'm glad I can help you out. Yep. 5482. See, this is Deus Ex all over. Secrets hidden within secrets hidden within secrets. And close the door. Here we are. And while we're here, I want to see what our skills are. We got 1955 skill points. Right, it is time to upgrade our skills and computers. Because I'm fed up with the fact that I can't hack at the moment. And we have now arrived at the underground hideout of the mole people. So, see you in the next video, fellas. Until then, have a good one. <laughs>